Travel expert Jill Starley Granger has been keeping across all the latest developments in the holiday sector. She's joining me at my mobile studio. Nice, two metres, two metres, nice. So Jill, uh, we've had some questions from viewers. Can you help me answer them? Of course, I'd love to help answer them. Nancy's one of nearly 300 people who've emailed Watchdog about the same company. Holiday park specialists host seasons since the travel ban last month. Hi, I and three friends booked a four-night break with Whole Seasons. Because of COVID-19, we were forced to cancel. How do we get a refund? If you cancel the trip due to government advice, in most cases, the travel insurance would probably cover you. If you cannot do that, at an absolute minimum, I would expect these companies to allow people to rebook free of charge and at the same rate they've paid now for a year's time. My co-presenter, Nikki Fox, has been keeping an eye on the watchdog inbox and spotted another name that's coming up a lot. We've had loads of messages about one company in particular, and that's Love Holidays. We have got a video here for you to watch uh, from Craig. Have a butchers. I was meant to be on a package holiday to Marrakesh on the 20th of March with Love Holidays. I've only been offered a credit voucher, not including flights, and they asked me to contact EasyJet directly. What can I do? What would your advice be to Craig? Do not accept that. Your travel agent is responsible for refunding you in full everything. But it's a multi-step process. So first you complain to the company, then to their trade organization. In this case, Love Holidays is a member of the Association of British Travel Agents. And then if you're not happy with the outcome, then you go to your credit card or debit card provider. However, Jill's biggest concern is whether companies are making it clear that their customers are entitled to a full cash refund if they choose, and whether these refund credit notes, like the one offered to Craig, are being issued correctly. I would either insist on a refund or potentially rebook your trip, but only if your travel insurance will still cover those new dates. That's really good advice because so many people are going to be having this problem at the moment. 